uh, caches. Uh, basically what we did here is we took uh, PVC pipe, uh, two end caps. Uh, there's an end cap right there. You can actually glue one on if you like. And uh, uh, some people use the screw on tops, which is fine. You still have to uh, put some of the uh, uh, nylon thread on so it wouldn't uh, actually leak. But right now, just for uh, display, we're using uh, two end caps. Um, basically there's a lot of room inside of here. Uh, if you had to, in an emergency situation, you could actually take the contents out and uh, use it to store water in. Um, uh, but that's something that, uh, you know, is uh, some things that actually you can do with these things. Uh, they're not really airtight unless you actually seal them properly. Now we have one over here that we've actually filled uh, with some things, and I'm going to show you a lot of things that we actually put in them. Um, right here we have some MRE stuff. Uh, this is actually bread. Uh, we have some uh, uh, cocoa beverage, uh, give you those calories. You just add water to these. Uh, one of them actually is cappuccino. They're actually quite well. Uh, another bread, and I know you say bread, but um, there is calories in it, and uh, it will actually help uh, sustain you for a while. Uh, there's some, some more military uh, MRE uh, things that actually come in those, and I actually saved these. Uh, this is actually for a water packet. And uh, inside here, <coughs> we have uh, chewing gums, matches, uh, toilet paper. There's a lot of different things in here for use for a lot of different resources. So we have that as well. Uh, again, uh, if you're going to take a uh, stash of cash, uh, what you would probably want to do is put it in a piece of property somewhere where you're actually going to go to an emergency. And uh, I actually put some shotgun shells, different ammo, uh, 357, 38s, 22s. <coughs> in there as well. Let me get some more of this out. Uh, here's those uh, tins that we actually had. Uh, our fishing tin is in here as well, our survival tin. Uh, a couple of zip, lock, uh, zip ties, I mean. Uh, we have what they call a yo-yo uh, uh, for fishing. Uh, these are something you can set up. We actually sell these as well. Uh, you can set up and uh, when a fish hits it, uh, basically it reels itself in. So these are all for survival. I wouldn't recommend doing them unless you check with your local uh, uh, city and state to see what they do. There's some more of those zip ties. Uh, we have hand sanitizers, hand wipes. Uh, here's actually a, uh, a whistle put around your neck. Uh, we sell these as well, uh, and it's a compass. Uh, here's a knife in here. It's a filled in stream. has a whistle in it as well. Uh, those are also on the website. Uh, some more hand sanitizer. Uh, hand sanitizer, wipes. Uh, just a small knife uh, uh, that uh, you can use for several different applications. Uh, we'll probably get to something like that uh, on a later uh, video. Uh, here's uh, sunblock, which is very useful. Uh, some more zip ties. Uh, another small pocket knife. Uh, WD-40. Uh, this can be used for several different things, whether it's helping make a fire. Uh, this is just a cup in here for drinking. Uh, fire strikers. We actually sell these on the uh, internet as well on our website. Uh, very good fire striker. And uh, right here we have a, uh, uh, it's a wire snare that we make up. We made these up. Uh, pretty useful for trapping. Uh, basically you'd want more than one. Uh, and I have a dog leash in here, which you could actually use this for uh, several little applications. Uh, you know, tie things up, but you can cut it down the middle, use it for uh, to strap this, <coughs> actually, uh, and carry it as a water water carrier. So uh, a lot of different things we can use these for. And uh, like I said, uh, this is something you might want to bury uh, out uh, at a location that uh, you might be passing through uh, sometime. And, um, but that's about it. Uh, just give us, uh, let us know any comments or anything you have and uh, get back with us.